फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड टुडे वी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द हडूप आर्किटेक्चर इन बिग डेटा सो दिस इज द हडूप आर्किटेक्चर इन अ स्मॉल इन अ ब्रीफ वे सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो बिफोर हडूप आर्किटेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज दिस एक्चुअली इज द हडूप सो एक्चुअली हडूप इज एन अपाचे ओपन सोर्स फ्रेमवर्क व्हिच इज रिटन इन जावा for running distributed applications in a highly fault tolerant manner now this uh, apache hadoop has got an environment uh, which contains uh, both the distributed storage as well as for processing a uh, large amount of data like this data can be terabytes or gigabytes as we have discussed in our previous videos so which works in a fault tolerant and in a distributed manner so this is all about the hadoop Uh, or what is actually Hadoop? Now let's get into the Hadoop architecture. So this Hadoop architecture is mainly, or it has got the two core components. That is the MapReduce as well as the HDFS. MapReduce uh, is for the distributed computation. That is for processing, and for HDFS. HDFS stands for the Hadoop Distributed File System. It is a special type of file system which is used to store or contain all the uh, big data files so all those files are stored in a format uh, which is there inside the hdfs so hdfs is for distributed storage and there are other components like the yarn framework and the common utilities so mainly uh, we talking about the uh, two core components that is the map reduce and hdfs so these are the two core components which is used in the Hadoop architecture. So let's get into what is MapReduce. So MapReduce, as you can see, it is a parallel program model which is written in uh, Java for running the distributed applications and for processing large amount of data in a large clusters of computers in a reliable and fault tolerant manner. So this states that uh, in MapReduce uh, there is uh, two phases that is the map phase as well as the reduce phase i'll be discussing in my successive videos so in map phase it will uh, just uh, cut short the task that you have to uh, get done and finally it will uh, optimize or reduce the steps required for the actual uh, output so uh, that's what the map reduce is all about uh, so to give a small idea about uh, map reduce what is it it's basically mapping and reducing the steps. Next, we talk about the distributed storage that is the HDFS. So HDFS, since it is used for distributed storage that is for storing the data, we use the GFS that is the Google file system for handling the data and it provides a massive distributed file system which is designed to run on a commodity hardware. Now let's understand what is the commodity hardware. Community hardware is seen every uh, where that is the uh, the smartphones or you can see the desktops or the laptops that you use at your home. So that comes under the commodity hardware and this also runs in a highly fault tolerant manner and it has high throughput access to application data and suitable for applications that have the larger data sets means the data sets can be running on 1000 nodes and the data can be of multi terabyte means you cannot estimate the amount of data so such kind of huge amount of data is maintained by the GFS which is uh, used in the HDFS that is the Hadoop distributed file system next uh, we uh, talk about the common utilities now this common utilities are the Java libraries that is required by the other Hadoop modules uh, when we talk about the Hadoop ecosystem, there would be many other supporting modules uh, for uh, creating the Hadoop architecture. So in that for uh, holding those or for importing the packages or the essential packages which are required to collaborate and for integrate the entire ecosystem, we need some utilities or the libraries. So those libraries are actually contained in the common utilities. Next is the YARN framework. So this YAN stands for the yet another resource navigator means it would navigate to another resource uh, like for scheduling purpose. So its main uh, job is or task is to job schedule means for job scheduling and cluster resource management 
it is used so the yarn framework is basically done for the data which is coming in and out and for processing it in a more uh, prioritized manner so this is the uh, short uh, introduction about the hadoop architecture so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this